Hi, my name is Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to hem bridesmaid dresses. A little over a year ago, I had the absolute pleasure of being in my beautiful friend Christine's wedding and my bridesmaid dress, as all bridesmaid dresses are made for eight foot tall women, I had to have it hemmed. So instead of taking it somewhere, I just cut in a sewing machine and it's actually one of the first projects I ever did, but I decided to hem it myself and thank goodness it turned out really well. So a year later, here I am still sewing. Anyways, I was contacted by the lovely Kelly who also needed her bridesmaid dress hemmed. It's a fairly simple alteration. However, it's just time consuming because there's three layers to the dress. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And to Kelly's sister, Casey, I'm wishing you a marriage full of love and happiness. Yeah, you go girl, twirl that dress. This is the lovely Kelly modeling her bridesmaid dress. It is a fairly full skirt with three layers. The top layer is a chiffon-like fabric and the two under layers are the standard lining fabric. She needs it hemmed to just above the knee. Kelly shows me the exact point where she would like it to be hemmed to and I start by pinning the under layers up to only deal with the chiffon outer layer. Making sure she has on the shoes she will be wearing for the wedding, it is easy to achieve an even hem by measuring from the floor up to her knee. I have unfolded a piece of the hem that will eventually be cut off to use as a test for my iron to make sure it is the right temperature and won't scorch the fabric. Repin the fabric in place. It is approximately four and a half inches that I will be taking off of the dress. Once repinned, iron a good, deep, crisp fold. This will make it so much easier once you take it to your sewing machine. Unpin and unfold the hem. Look at that, so crisp. And then from that super crisp iron line, measure down half an inch for your seam allowance. Mark in chalk all the way around the skirt. Another way of doing it, since the skirt curve can be a little tricky, is to mark every couple inches and then join those marks together. And then the scariest part of every project is making that first snip. I don't know if it will ever not be scary. I haven't gotten to that point yet. Luckily our chalk line makes it slightly less scary as we cut all the way around the skirt. Usually I do a rolled hem by folding it over twice and just sewing along. Since it's chiffon, it's a little trickier to work with, so I'm going to do it in two steps. Plus it's for a wedding, so you gotta make it look good. I folded it over once so that the end meets that fold. The pins, they, they helped a little bit. It's, it's really slippery fabric, so it, I lied. They didn't really help at all. Getting started is the hardest part to make sure that the fabric stays in place and doesn't slip and that it's perfectly folded in half so that the edge meets our iron fold. Luckily, it gets easier as you go. Now that one trip around the skirt has been completed, it's time to start the second trip. And here's where our iron mark really, really helps. The fabric just naturally wants to fold exactly where we want to sew. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end and then use that first line of stitching as a guide and sew on top of it. Iron the hem flat and then move on to the second layer. Unclip the clips and then mark in chalk where the second layer meets the first layer. This will be the new bottom of the hem for that second layer and then with that half inch seam allowance it'll be just shorter than the chiffon layer. Making sure all of my chalk marks make sense, I did some quick measurements and then joined my chalk marks into a solid line, taking care that the marks on the sides line up with the front and the back. And then more scary cutting. Here I am just pinning that third layer out of the way. This layer you can hem all at once. I am eyeballing folding it over a quarter of an inch, you can also measure it, and then fold over again on itself another quarter of an inch. 
Again, you can use pins if you want to. I just find that they're not very helpful for this narrow of a hem. It takes more time to pin it than if you just go slow and fold over and over again as you go. One and done. Looks good. Time to move on to the third and last layer. I am pinning the chiffon layer out of the way so I can get an accurate marking as to where the third layer meets up with the second layer. We're doing this the exact same way as the second layer. Marked in chalk, connected the marks, cut the marks, fold, fold over again, and sew. Last layer is done. Yeah! Last step is to give all three layers a good press, especially each of the hems. Don't worry if there is any puckering on the hems, it will iron flat. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to hem your own bridesmaid dress, and hopefully you are inspired to save some money and try it yourself. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials you can follow along with. And if you have attempted this yourself, I would love to see your finished product in the comments. Enjoy the lovely Kelly modeling her bridesmaid dress and make it a great day.